From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Dennis's Heating and Air Conditioning is Northern California's premier heating and air conditioning contractor. From residential housing, large commercial projects, installation to repair, sheet metal fabrication, and everything in between, we are your go-to heating and air conditioning specialist. Well, those low clouds really sticking around in many cases here. There you can see out towards Elk Country, uh, just north of Trinidad here. A lot of the low clouds, I mean, the visibility is not too bad, but we are looking at that low deck of clouds kind of just hovering along the coast here. And as we take you up northward out towards Crescent City, this is a harbor district. Uh, there you can see, of course, just the overcast skies that we are seeing there. Again, it's that low deck of clouds that we have really up and down the coast. But you start heading inland, and of course, you're looking at plenty of sunshine out there. And of course, not to mention the Sacramento Valley. A little breezy out there, but there you can still see plenty of sunshine here out over the uh, valley. And not to mention many of the mountain locations seeing plenty of sunshine. This is out at Lassen Park at the south uh, entrance there. There you can see not a cloud to be seen off in the sky. So today is the first day of spring, but one thing to remember, we don't officially transition to spring until 8.06 p.m. tonight all right so the first full day of spring is actually going to be tomorrow but i do expect the weather pattern to slowly change this week with cooler weather and not to mention some wetter weather as well snow levels are going to be dropping as some colder air moves in eventually down to as low as 3,000 feet by the time we get into the second half of the weekend we still have this big ridge of high pressure that's in place that's keeping us under the mainly sunny skies for most of us of course we've got that marine layer along the coast here that's what we have here throughout the rest of the day today some of that making its way inland as well places like blue lake and uh, not to mention now towards ferndale as well but we are seeing some afternoon puffy cumulus clouds developing for some of the higher elevations and you'll notice future cast is picking up on a little bit of shower activity in some spots as well if we see a passing sprinkle for some of us in the higher elevations, don't be terribly surprised, but this is not going to be anything near getting close to canceling any outdoor events, that's for sure. Then we have this very weak line that may have an impact on us tomorrow afternoon. Once again, most likely won't even have much of an impact, if any. And you can see a little bit of that drizzle and light shower activity along the coast. Otherwise, Thursday, that marine layer won't be quite as thick, but we still expect to see the most cloudy skies along the coast, not to mention even off to the west of the valley, but plenty of sunshine for the valley and not to mention off to the east for your Thursday. Now, as we go into Friday, there's the next storm system. You can see that front pushing inward, and then I do expect to see by Friday that first chance at least of some measurable rainfall across the board. Snow level is still fairly high at this point, five to 6,000 feet. Then this low pressure system kind of moves to the east and then down to the south. So as we go into Saturday, more rain. And we're also seeing, of course, that cooler air move in. Snow levels dropping down to about 4,000 feet on Saturday. We actually may see a bit of a break on Sunday. I still think we could see a chance for a scattered shower, maybe a snow flurry or two on Sunday. But this is going to be kind of the lull in the activity here before the next system comes in on Monday. And then more activity coming in all next week. There's Tuesday. We take you into Wednesday of next week and even into Thursday. You see kind of just one storm system after another. But one thing to know is that none of these storms are particularly very strong. So yes, we'll see some decent amounts of rainfall once we add all of them together. But as one storm, each storm is just not going to really dump a lot of rain or even a ton of snow for that matter. But do note that there probably will be chain requirements over many of the higher mountain passes uh, as we go through the weekend and into next week as well. Temperatures today are expected to be somewhere in the mid 70s, give or take. So some upper 70s, some low 70s, just depending on where you are. But for the higher elevations, temperatures mainly in the 60s and along the coast, temperatures mid to upper 50s for those daytime highs. So we take a look at our seven day outlook. There you can see the temperatures gradually decreasing through Thursday. By Friday, we've got the chance for showers. We continue often on showers into early next week. And if we were to extend this through all of next week, Week, we'd be looking at a chance for rain each and every single day off and on. It's not going to be kind of that uh, steady rainfall for several days. There you can see your seven day outlook for Mount Shasta, El Turris, and Susanville dry through Thursday. That chance for showers off and on starting Friday and then continuing into next week. Snow levels starting off fairly high as well, 5,000 feet at the lowest down to eventually maybe 3,000 feet by Sunday.